Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam Bilsing and this is Dirty Bandana Music. Today we're doing an unboxing video on this Minel percussion table. I was in the market for a percussion table because I was tired of using my second snare drum as a table, which I think is probably a pretty common problem amongst us drummers. Um, let's see here, there you can see all the model info. I was gonna say it's a decently sized table. It's 16 by 22, so it's pretty big. Uh, my goal was for it to be big enough to put my keyboard and mouse on for my computer so that uh, when I was doing recording stuff from the drum throne, I didn't have to sort of like get up and walk all across the room and stuff. So it definitely is working for that. It's big enough to put my uh, my computer keyboard and my computer mouse on and even still room to spare for a little notebook on that. Uh, it comes very nicely packed with good thick cardboard. Everything in here was in great shape. There's a couple funny little bags of shredded newspaper. I'm not really sure uh, what good those were doing. Kind of funny looking. Um, but the hardware is really heavy duty and nice and the table is well made and like I said pretty big it's kind of carpeted on the top so uh, if you were going to set down jangly things like tambourines or anything that you were wanted to keep quiet once you set it down it should be pretty good at that um, there's a lip all around the outside edge of it so that uh, sort of will help to keep stuff from rolling off if you're worried about that Something kind of interesting about the bottom plate on this thing. Um, a lot of a lot of stands would just have like a smooth socket there that you just sort of slide over another thing with a wing nut on it that you would tighten. But that whole socket is threaded. So this that whole plate, the way you attach it to the stand, which I open here in a minute and it hilariously takes me like an hour and a half to open it. Very well packaged uh, stand, all bubble wrapped and taped. Uh, like I said, carpeted. Nice, nice texture, good looking carpet stuff. It looks pretty durable. Uh, nice looking logo on there. And here comes the stand that uh, I cut apart like six different times. But what I was getting at is that the socket on the underside of the table that attaches to the stand, the whole thing is threaded. So you have to either spin the tabletop or spin the stand to uh, get it tightened down. But once it's all attached, it really looks really nice. Okay, there we go. It's finally open. So it's a really nice heavy duty stand, double braced, uh, nice big thick rubber feet on it. It comes with like a hilariously huge packet of information. Like it's a whole entire book attached to it. I still haven't flipped through that yet, but is it, there's a ton of info on something in there. All pretty conventional wing nuts. There's a nice lock on this so you can really lock it in place. The telescoping part of the stand near the top of it is uh, just sort of a thrown latch instead of a wing nut. One of those one of those that like tightens. And I did hear what I thought was the smartest way to attach it. I just went ahead and took that thing out and I'm just going to spin that to screw it in so that I'm not spinning an entire tripod stand. Seemed like the easy way to go. There's really a lot of threads on this thing. It's a great connection. Once you finally get it on there, it's not going anywhere. And at some point it's gonna stop. There you go, tightened. Took forever. So it's a pretty tall stand. You can see on uh, the B-roll here how tall it is when I got it set up. It's a little taller than my snare drums. So if you're considering how high it might be in comparison to your drum set, I'm a fairly tall player and I play the snare drums decently high up and this table is still taller than the snare drums. So I think if you were using it on a percussion rig where you stood up, you uh, telescoped it out and made it nice and tall, you would still be pretty satisfied with it then even. I think uh, it would be totally usable at stand up height. I would recommend this thing. I picked out this one because it's taller. Uh, a lot of the other versions I was seeing online were real short, like two feet tall or something like that, and it didn't seem quite right. Uh, so this one's nice and tall. That's part of the reason I got it. Very well made. I would recommend if you're looking for a tall percussion table. So that's it for today. I'd like to thank my friends over at Red 11 Media for producing this video along with all the rest of the content on my YouTube channel. You can follow me over on Instagram at Dirty Bandana, or you can catch up on all the rest of my activities on my website at DirtyBandana.com. That's it for now. We'll see you all next time.